It's been over two years since I had done the original commentary for Panzer Hedgehog via Roy Amedes commentaries. That was a weird way to say it. Either way, you know, over two years have passed. Has, has this ROM hack in any way, shape, or form aged well? Well, uh, for those who are unaware and just watching this video for the first time, Panzer Hedgehog was a hack of... Sonic the Hedgehog, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, that is, um, by Marky Jester, giving him much more, uh, purple, so to speak, <laughs> which actually kind of works well, uh, the animations are more fluid, and, uh, bad his music. Now, uh, you'll even hear, uh, Mega Man 8 riff, I mean, riff? <laughs> you'll hear Aquaman stage from Mega Man 8 later in this video. And I will not lie, this this ROM hack, although originally supposed to be um, considered as a joke hack uh, when it was first being talked about, Marky did a really great job with this. Uh, I actually don't know how long it took, but you know, for a ROM hack back in 2011, um, with graphic quality kind of similar to that of Mega Mix, I could easily say that this was one of the greatest jobs well done back then. Also, right here I'm showing off the fact that, yes, you can really get some massively high um, point combos in this game. I don't think that there are any other ROM hacks of Sonic the Hedgehog that feature that, but yeah. <laughs> um, the name Panna, however, or Panna, I, I don't know if it's Panna or Panna. Either way, um, if I'm not mistaken, Panna the Hedgehog is a German hedgehog. <laughs> Whether that makes sense to me or not is completely uh, up to you, but... <laughs> the concept works. I even actually did some um, artwork of this back in 2012. Uh, it basically, it featured Panna um, running into the Sega logo, and then, and then and then completely pulling out of his astatine. I said astatine, which is a chemistry um, element if you are Arnold Bear. Um... <laughs> A six-button controller. A six-button Genesis controller. <laughs> uh, I think that got, uh, that got a decent amount of downloads on SSRG. I think, I, I think, um, it's all, yeah, it's also on my DeviantArt if you if you ever want to take a look at it. <laughs> For its time, you know, um, artwork based off of a ROM hack was kind of semi-rare. So at that time, you know, it was it was good for me to do. Uh, now you might wonder, am I going for another 267 rings run? Is that why this video is as long as it is? Um, yes actually, I am deliberately going out of my way to get all 267 rings just like last time. Um, at least I could only find 267 rings. I don't know if there's more than that. Uh, it's never explained. Uh, I don't even think Marky ever mentioned it on, um, in the original topic. Also, um, for those who are unaware, uh, it, when uh, Panna first came out, uh, his slogan was, He is to gratis. And, um, w apparently, w w I'm, I'm figuring that meant he is the greatest, because that's, that's what it sounds like to me. But when I, when I go out of my way to, um, you know, put it in, put in he is the gratis, in Google Translate, oh, here's the winner section, I forgot Robotnik does this, um, so yeah, you, you basically put in his slogan, translate it to Japanese, and translate Japanese to English. It ends up coming out saying he is free of charge. What I would like to know, however, um, uh, not, not that I might get a, get any information about this sooner or later, but I might. Um, like, I don't, like, uh, in, in Dr. Robotnik's Creature Capture, which is what I used to call Sonic before the prequel. <laughs> yes, as crazy as it sounds, yes, it's, it, it, that's a place before the prequel, I'm figuring. But, um, there's this, uh, there's this go-kart, um, puzzle game that you can do after beating Marky's record. Of, I think it was like three hours, uh, three, I mean, not uh, three hours and fifty-seven minutes. So, uh, sometime, I think, actually no, I, I think I'm right. No, no, not true. 
No, 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 that sounds accurate. About three hours and 57 minutes or something around that. Um, anyway, uh, you'll see a poster that shows Panzer Hedgehog holding up his hand or whatever, and it says, see you next game. Now, we haven't had a Panzer Hedgehog hack since I think it was September 2 or 3 of 2011. Uh, citation needed for that. I, uh, I'm doing this completely unscripted, so I completely do not remember at all. And, uh, really gotta love that ball puzzle, by the way. <laughs> but, um, recently, uh, for the most part, what we've gotten is, you know, kind of nice stuff. We, we, I've seen, we've seen, um... We've seen concept for, I mean, yeah, yeah, we've seen, like, uh, leaps levels for Marky Dudgester. Um, we've, we've listened to some of his new music. And, um, you know, we've, we've gotten Sonic the Ring Ride 1 through 4. At the, at the time of this recording, anyway, this, the time of this recording is February 11. I'm actually kind of surprised I'm doing this as late as I am, because I was originally supposed to have a Castle of Illusion music sync project. Uh, special thanks to Vladicomp for that no music ROM, by the way. Uh, the only problem is, uh, the, I'm only using this as filler because of the fact that, um, Castle of... Th that project, for whatever reason, Windows Live Movie Maker likes to have it so that, um, even if it says a file is corrupt, even when it's not, it's still... It, 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 it won't... It, you can't do anything about that. Even when I reload the um, the project file, it'll still give you crap. <laughs> but I'll, I'll get to that later on when we actually get to that uh, video. It'll be after this one. Hopefully. And, oh, this boss. <laughs> what a great way to make the Spring Yard boss even more difficult. I needed this. I seriously needed this. <laughs> do you know how many days I went having to do this boss fight? <laughs> um, it, like, it took me a long time to master this flawlessly. <laughs> I will not lie about that. It took me way too long. Uh, 16 hits will take it down, and uh, boom, level's over. Well, that was quick. Um, I actually do not know uh, when another build of Panda Hedgehog will come out. I'm just doing this video just for the sake of having something on the channel right now. And yes, if you've been wondering all this time, if you've been wondering where that SEGA at every single episode of, um, you know, like any Sega game that I've done in recent time, you know I've put in the Sega sound effect. <laughs> it just sounds bad anus. <laughs> what the heck? I always say this, every time I do a commentary, I have the news, uh, the news, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I would have the news on every single time I'm watching, I mean, every time uh, I'm doing a commentary, no, I actually do have um, CBS News this morning on, originally called The Early Show, I liked it better when it was called The Early Show and Julie Chen was hosting, dang it, Julie Chen, get back on The Early Show and, uh, I don't know, make it more entertaining, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. Gail King and Charlie Rose are doing a great job, but but you know you know uh, let's let's mix it up a little. <laughs> then again, she already has enough going for her as it is. She's got the talk. She's got uh, the Big Brother franchise. <laughs> she's literally got a lot on her hands. <laughs> that actually makes me wonder how, do, how much does he make. <laughs> But yeah, um, I, I, I was listening to some kind of um, song, and I, it just kind of surprised me. That, that's, that's all. <laughs> but uh, go, going back into the main game topic, and I know that we're, pr I know that we're done with the commentary by this point, but um, will we be seeing another installment of Panda the Hedgehog? I, w I would love to. I would love awesome. I mean... 
I mean, we got lots of things from him. Er, um, the, the early betas for Double Trouble, I mean, Double Trouble, Brother Trouble. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we got Jester's Challenge, which I still have yet to beat. Actually, I I, I like to do it live. However, I might actually. Uh, I don't know. Whether or not I'll go to go to do um just as challenges beyond me, he might do that as like a birthday gift for him or whatever, but yeah. Uh we got the four installments of Ring Ride. Um If you like Phil Collins, you will love the Ring Ride 4, and if you like Gaius, you will love the Ring Ride 2. Can't say much about Ring Ride. I do love using Ring Ride 3 um with the 6535 Rings Pro Action Replay code. <laughs> <laughs> it actually it works on all other Sonic the Hedgehog ROMs, I'm sure. Uh, assuming you're using Revision Zero, I don't know about Revision One, but yeah, that that's something worth listening. I mean, worth playing. Um, Taxi, he's done here and there. Uh, I think he's yeah, he's also been doing stuff. I think with uh, the S Factor. I don't know about Extended Edition, but I know about Mega Mix, and uh, I'm figuring also Extended Mix. What the heck was that game even supposed to be? Was this supposed to? Be, uh, was, are you supposed to like lock on S Factor with um, Extended Edition and also have Mega Mix in the Sega CD at the same time, and then somehow you get Mega Edition Extended Mix? That'd be nice though. I would like that, but <laughs> that's up to the, that's up to the ROM hackers to decide. We already already <laughs> in the open, um, <laughs> but. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see the round two, so uh, I'll, I'll end the commentary here. How long have I been talking? 12 minutes and 10 seconds? Now nah, that's fair enough. I, I didn't want this commentary to be... I don't like having um, episodes that are less than 10 minutes now. Unless, of course, it's mandatory because of the fact that, um, you know, there's not much to discuss in the video itself. But, you know, given, given that... Given that Marky Jester is one of the uh, one of the greatest uh, Sonic ROM hackers of our current generation, why not give him praise, right? <laughs> uh, just got the Burger King games, by the way, <laughs> and Pac-Man World. Yeah, I got Pac. What does that have to do with Sonic? Well. Pac-Man World is a game of exploration, and, uh, so to speak, Pan of the Hedgehog is a game of exploration. I hope that more is done with Pan of the Hedgehog in the exploratory route, because I like to go out of my way sometimes. I don't know, just, just I don't know, I, I like to collect. <laughs> I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong, and for this part, you know, collecting rings in Pan of the Hedgehog is just ever so satisfying. Whether or not that, it, whether or not that's actually um, touched upon is beyond me. But what can I say, right? <laughs> and uh, I think this forecast is going to be filled with lots of ice in the southeastern region of the United States. There will be lots of rain and snow along the way as well. For England, has the possibility of maybe getting six or more inch. No, not really. I'm actually just flipping the fish. <laughs> oh, sorry, shooting the fish. <laughs> I'm getting my terms mixed up yet again. <laughs> oh, jeez. Paraphrase uh, Dave Chappelle. Um, it's kind of not a. It's kind of a um, not be able to laugh at your own jokes. Because if you aren't able to laugh at your own jokes, that's what I consider a bad actor. Or something around that. I forget exactly what he said. It was in Disc 2. Not Disc 2. It was in the Season 2 Special Features section of Chappelle's show. I think it was Disc 3. Sounds accurate. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I'll, I'll, I'll spell 3.